Hello, beautiful people. Hello, beautiful people. Hello, beautiful people. Today is day, okay, 31 plus four. Today is day 35. Today is day 35 of year 2020. Welcome, celebrate yourself. We're still here, we're alive, we're well, we're breathing. To those who um, consistently come back to my page, welcome. Hello, my people. I'm happy to see you again. No, I'm happy for you to see me again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and watch and share this video. Sorry, I had to tuck, do a little tuck. Watch and share this video as much as you can. Um, yesterday, I made a video basically speaking on five red flags or five toxic traits that you, if you see in a relationship, it's time to go. It, it's time to close the door, it's time to move on, it's time to call it a quit. Or even if I, one of those traits or something to you, it was a sign that it's time for you to change or you to, you get my drift, you get my drift. So I put out the red flag, so it's only right, I feel like I should do a video today that speaks on good traits, like good things, like good signs, green flags, is that what it's called? Let's call it pink flags, pink is my favorite color. So when you see those pink flags, that means it's a great, good, it's a good relationship, it can turn into great, or it's either a great relationship, it's, it's where you're supposed to be, it's where you're valued, it's where you're appreciated. Granted, it's sad that like, if you're not used to good things when a good person actually- I apologize, beautiful people. I just had a phone call and like I said, I have to find out how to stop um, what to do to like when people call me that I don't like my video doesn't get interrupted because putting my phone on silent is not working or do not disturb is not working. So if you have any pointers or have something that I should know, let me know. Okay, thank you. So like I said yesterday, I made the video on um, yesterday I made the video that spoke on the five toxic traits. And today, I'm going to hit you with the positive trait, the good signs, the pink signs, okay? So, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and also hit the thumbs up button, like, leave as much feedback, comments as you may like. If you have anything you would like to share with me, share it. My Instagram is the same as my YouTube. Instead of having one, but instead of having one underscore, it has two. So, my Instagram is Chanel underscore underscore Alicia, which is my first and my middle name intertwine so number one if he or she makes you feel good with just their presence like just seeing that person spark something inside of you without them showing you money without them bringing you anywhere without them like doing something like physically for you if you just that if that person aura just makes you feel good inside trust me that is the one i don't know if it's the one forever but trust me that it is the one for right now because you feel good you feel Oh, you feel great when that person's around. I'm not talking about like jittery feelings. I'm talking about like overwhelmed with love. You feel like a, a sense of peaceness, calmness. You know, you know that feeling? You do? You? If you know that feeling, hit that like button right there. Okay, so that's number one. Granted, that means you guys don't understand the good, it's good traits. It's, just, it's good that that's, that's you. That's for, he's for you, she's for you, you know? You're supposed to feel good when they're present. You're supposed to feel good with that person without them offering you anything. You're supposed to want to be around with them without them offering anything. And I say that to say this because some people, like, they love the person because that person comes around with gifts. So that's the only reason why they probably like you or that's the only reason why they probably entertain the situation. But once those gifts will stop or once things slow down, that's when you realize that person's, like, true feeling. So granted, just like people for them. And trust me, the one that you like for themselves, they will come with things and more things. And I'm talking about materialistic things, spiritually, financially, physically, all all that great bundles of joy. The person that's for you will come to you and it's going to feel overwhelming. You're going to be like, whoa. But as I said, make sure you pray for the one you want. List the traits. Get you a notebook, sis. I'm telling you, bro. Sis or whoever this may be, get yourself a notebook. This is gonna be, make that notebook your manifestation, your manifestation book and whatever you want, write down from how you want him to look, how you want her to look, from the smell, from the size, from the from the traits, from the financial um, standpoint. Write all that you want, write it down. Make sure you read that out loud, make sure you pray on it. Cause trust me, what you want can come to you, will come to you. 
But when it comes to you, make sure you're ready. Make sure, like, you don't get creeped out and freaked out that, oh my gosh, what I asked for is happening. Because guess what? That is going to come. As long as you manifest and stick, and stick to it, be consistent. What you want is going to come to you. All right? Don't, and don't shy away either. Open it with a welcome arm. All right, number two, makes a habit out of teaching. Sorry, <laughs> not teaching. I clearly can't read my own handwriting. Makes a habit out of reaching out to you and, and also is vulnerable and expresses to you, opens up to you, whether it's male or female. See, a lot of males, like females too, because I used to be like this too, holds everything inside, don't want to express because you take it as a sign of weakness. No, express yourself. Reveal what's inside of you. Let go. Allow yourself to grow. Allow yourself to feel comfortable. If that person puts up a wall, it's not it's it's not gonna be it's not easy to get to know them like if it's a wall that you can't get through right like unless you crawl over the, too much energy if that person is up open up for you they're not the one but trust me if they are if they're vulnerable you got yourself a keeper or you're on the way like you keep them keep them keep them okay so number three on my list is Sorry guys, I just readjusted my camera and that was being weird. Okay, so number three on my list is um to be a keeper. A good a good flag, a green flag, is if the person values your time, wants your time. As far as values your time, spending time is like somebody can spend time with you and the whole time they're on their phone, whole time they're like really not being attentive to you. That person is not valuing your time because granted that person is not like paying you any money. Okay? So this is a good trait. If that person's with you and they express how much they like to be with you and they value your time when they're with you, they're attentive, they're paying you mind, that is a good sign. That, my friend, is a good sign and you have a keeper on your hands. Okay? Number four, if the person satisfies you in every aspect, spiritually, sexually, opens up your mind to new things, speaks your love language. I I had a video on love language, so if you're not familiar with love language, I'm not going to go too in depth with it right now, but there's another video on my channel that I speak on love languages, and if, the, if your spouse doesn't speak your love language, you guys are going to have like a difficult time communicating, and it, you might not even work out, because what you feel as love is shown, the way they feel love is shown, if it's not the same way, then you guys are going to not think that like the each or the other person is showing them love or you about find out about love language and okay so number four if the person satisfies you plus 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 red flags red flags red i mean i am i'm sorry y'all that was yesterday green flags pink flag pink flag pink flag it's good okay and as far as like satisfy you spiritually i mean like they uplift you they they um you feel like this is how you feel no, but seriously, you feel inspired. You feel uplifted. You're like, oh, that's my babe. Okay, that's a keeper. Sexually is um, a big fact too. I'm not sure of anybody else, but that's a major part of a relationship. Um, at some point, it will turn into a part of a relationship, especially if you want to produce like kids and stuff like that. Um, yeah, make sure they satisfy you. Don't just like fake your pleasures or they fake their pleasures because then it's going to be a fake relationship and it's going to end soon. Um teach you new things that's one of the things that i really um like appreciate when it comes to me having a new partner or me being in a partner like being taught things us being able to teach each other new things go on new places open up your mind more just really living to me that's what life is about not just existing chilling like no i'm talking about really living like being excited like finding out new things new cultures trying new food that is what life is really 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 about so if that person, if that's what's hot going on right now in your relationship, your situation, your spouse, your partner, your other half, then guess what? You've got to keep it, my friend. Like I said, I don't know if it's like keeper for long term, but for right now, you definitely have a keeper, my friend. And last but not least, and granted, there's way more um, signs to someone being the one. These are just five that, granted, I thought at the top of my head. And, or five signs that I recently realized or have realized in the past. So I just thought to share it with you guys. So number five is respect himself. Well, respect himself or herself and you as well all the time. Not just when you are, we are with them. Some people know how to be like perfect when you're in front of them. Obviously, they, they're good at acting. But granted, to me, what matters when you're not there. When you're not there, how does that person act? Do they still respect you the same way? 
how do that person act? Do they still value, respect you, you know, honor what you guys going on the same way? That is a big factor. And I feel like this um, will have you like, wow. Like, what if like somebody reaches out to you like, I just seen so-and-so and he was blah, 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 but he wasn't the one, blah, blah. You're gonna be like, wow, that's bae. Then again, you guys are supposed to have a, a high trust level that you don't even have to worry about him. You're supposed to trust that they're going out. But it still feels good to hear like good feedback or to like just know what you already had in your mind is actually proven, a proven fact. But yeah, my peoples. So I I want to kudos myself today because I didn't do a lot of ums. I didn't do a little like, usually I'm going from A to Z, then back to C, then I might go to Y, then go back to D. I feel like I stayed on track and I did my thing. So give clap for me one time. If you're proud of me, hit that like button, okay? And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. But as I said, these are five traits to know when someone's the one. Trust me, if you want to manifest the one, you get yourself that book, you write down everything you want, and you make sure you speak on it, you pray on it, you do it every day, you keep re repeating it every day, like get it brainwashed into your head to the T how you want this person to be. The universe will hear it, you will hear it, and trust me, it will be sent, the, it will be. He or she will be sent to you, all right? You are not missing out on anything. You are capable of love, you are worthy of love, and you are deserving of love. But make sure when you see love, you recognize it. And also make sure when it's not love, you recognize it too. So if you want some five signs that five toxic traits, click the video that I just uploaded on yesterday and watch it. Cause I just want everybody to be okay. Not even okay. I want everybody to be great. I want you to be happy. I want you to feel uplifted. 2020 is that year. 2020 is the feel good year. Honestly. Just focus on good, expect good, feel like you deserve the best, know you deserve the best, and the best will come to you, okay? So my peoples, you know, the one who consistently come back to watch my channel, the one who meet that we're locked in, I appreciate you all if you're new to this channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and guess what? You come back again, you're locked in too. But I appreciate you all, and I hope you all have a good day. Stay safe, know that you are enough, you have enough. Do not overwork yourself. Do not overwhelm yourself. Make sure you take out the time of day to make sure you are okay, that you are feeling good, all right? Because oftentimes we want to pour love out to this person, this person, this person. And at the end of the day, you're the one that's left drained. At the end of the day, you're the one that's with all those thoughts laying down overwhelmed. So make sure you take care of yourself. At the end of the day, I want you, when you lay down, I want you to feel great. I want you to feel relieved. I don't want you to feel stressed, confused, all those like negative energies. I want you to feel good. It feels good here. We love it here. This is the channel where we love, all right? So stay blessed, my peoples. I can't wait to, like, chop it up with you guys another day. Don't feel, feel free to leave any comments, any feedback. Positive vibes only. Good vibes only. We do not do the negative aura over here. Negative energy. We don't do that. No. Positive vibes. All right? Stay blessed, y'all. Talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe button. Don't forget to hit it. Don't forget to share this video and like it as much as you need to. All right. Bye.